everyone. Today, we mainly study the understanding and prevention of leaf roller pests. First, let's understand that leaf roller pests that harm tea trees. Usually, curl mites are one of the major pests in tea areas in China. There are many species, and they belong to different families of Lepidoptera. Larvae produce sick roll and form tender leaves, which are in the shape of bracts. They hide in the bracts and bite the mesophyll, which hinders the growth of tea trees and reduces the yield and quality of tea leaves. Tea leaf roller mainly includes a doxifies orana, homona coferia, tea leaf roller, and homona magnanima. Today, we focus on a doxifies orana, also known as small yellow leaf rolled moth. Cotton brown leaf rolled moth, it belongs to Lepidoptera leaf hopper family, is an important leaf eating pest on tea trees. A doxifies orana adult body length, 6 to 8 millimeters, wings, 15 to 22 millimeters, fawn. Four wings like rectangular, scattered brown fine lines. There are three obvious dark brown oblique lines with grain. On the wing's base, the middle of the wing and wing, the middle of the wing respectively, the striation is in the shape of an H. The male's brown band is broad and obvious at the base part of the wings. The wings are grayish yellow at the rear. The outer margin is slightly brown. The length of the larvae is 10 to 20 millimeters after maturity. The body is green and the head is yellowish brown. The eggs are flat, elliptical, and pale yellow. The egg masses are flat and approximate elliptical, arranged in the shape of fish scales with 10 to over 100 egg masses. The surface is covered with transparent colloid. The pupae is green at the beginning and then turn yellowish brown. The damage caused by a doxifies orana. The damage is caused by the larvae spinning and curling leaves, leaving epidermis and forming transparent lesion. In the later stage, several adjacent leaves were formed into larger insect bracts. They are hidden in the bracts and eat the mesophyll, thus hindering the growth of the tea buds and affecting the quality and quality of tea. Occurrence Regularity of a Doxifies Orana The old mature larvae overwinter in the insect bracts, and the generation numbers vary slightly from place to place in one year. They have four generations in one year in Guizhou, five generations in one year in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River, six to seven generations in one year in Guangdong, and eight to nine generations in one year in Taiwan province. The adults have phototactic property, and the egg mass is produced on the back of adult leaves and old leaves in the middle and lower parts of tea trees. After the larvae are hatched, they climb up to the shoot, or the laying silk floats to the nearby shoot with the wind, sneaks into the shoot tip gap or the end and edge of the newly developed leaves, spins, curl the leaves, and settles and hides, eats mesophyll, form two to several adjacent leaves into insect bracts after the third instar, eats in the bracts, causing obvious transparent withered spots on the damaged leaves. Along with the increase of the instar, the leaves gradually changed from the awning surface to the middle and lower part of the tea tree, causing damage to mature or old leaves. There was a significant damage center in the tea garden. The larvae are very active. After the third instar, they are startled and often fell to the ground to escape. After aging, they pupated in the insect bracts. The occurrence regularity of Edoxifies orana is closely related to the environmental condition, the most suitable environment. The average temperature is 18 to 26 degrees Celsius. The relative humidity is more than 80% in the suitable temperature range, and the wet temperature coefficient is 
greater than or equal to 3. The hatchability is as high as 90% above. When the wet temperature coefficient is less than 2, there is very little or no incubation in summer. Heat and rot makes insect population decline. If there is more rain in autumn, insect population will rise again. Dense tea canopy, lush buds, especially in the tea garden. Generally, there is more insect population. It also varies with the tea varieties. Yunnan big leaf species and daffodil species suffered more, and insect pests happened earlier. Let's learn more about the prevention and control measures of tea leaf roller pests, which are mainly divided into four measures, biological control, agricultural control, physical control, and artificial control. First, let's look at biological control. There are three main ways of biological control. The first way releases natural enemies. In the third to fifth instar, larvae of tea leaf roller. The predaceous natural enemies, for example, the yellow-banded rhino hunting bugs, teahorn bugs, and armacustus, can be released according to the population density of the tea leaf roller in the tea garden. The second way is to protect and utilize natural enemy, and there are many kinds of natural enemy of a doxifies arana, including small cocoon bees in young larval stage, and woolen cocoon bees in old larval stage. That parasitic mortality rate can be as high as more than 60%, a large number of hornworm and parasitic flies in pupal stage. The protection of natural enemies are important measures for preventing and controlling the adoxifies orana. The sex pheromone of the adoxifies orana is used to trap and kill the adults during the peak period of the adults. The density should be 3 to 4 per MU. Change the core around February once. The armyworm board should be replaced in time depending on the situation of the pests so as to effectively reduce the population base of the next generation. Next, agricultural prevention and control. The agricultural control adopts a method of picking and killing the pests. Young larvae are all on new shoots. We should pick them in time and in batches. The population can be effectively reduced. Trimming can also be adopted. The deep trimming of 10 to 15 centimeters can be carried out after the annual picking is completed. Damage the overwintering sites to reduce the population, so the damage severity in the following year can be effectively reduced. Then, physical prevention and control. Because that adult have chromatotropism and phototaxis, so in the adult peak period, we can use the yellow board or the frequency vibration type insecticidal lamp to trap and kill the adult pests. Finally, the artificial prevention and control. Leaf roller pests are mainly produced in the upper middle part of the tea canopy, so most of the egg masses can be cut off by tea garden trimming. The investigation shows that the number of egg lumps in the field can be reduced by trimming from 41 to 16 per meter of tea row. The cutting rate can be as high as 96%, and no larva is newly hatched on the upper part of the green leaves on the tea tree after trimming. The larvae are inhibited due to the deterioration of food. The appropriate prevention and control period is at the peak stage of the first to second instar larvae. The best agent is 10% bifenthrin emulsion in water 3,000-fold solution, or 4.5% beta-cypermethrin emulsion 2,000-fold solution. That is the key content of this lesson. Thank you for your cooperation. See you!